It was an early morning start for the para triathlon world championships that took place in raw water parklands on the Gold Coast in Queensland. Race conditions were looking perfect for the athletes taking part across the six para triathlon race classes. It was the vision impaired class who were up first to take off at 6.30 in the morning, followed by the other race categories across staggered starts. This meant that athletes with different impairments were on the course racing at the same time. Since paratriathlon became an official sport on the Paralympic schedule, its popularity has continued to increase and so has a level of competition. The field was really strong here on the Gold Coast with multiple gold medalists and world champions lining up to contest. In the visually impaired class, Dave Ellis, alongside his new partner Mark Buckingham, had to come from behind to claim his second consecutive world title. It was a pretty tough race and at one point we were like, oh, well, I was like, not sure it's going to happen, but managed to get it on the run, so yeah, it was really, really great. I think even though we're doing an individual sport in triathlon, we all strive to be part of a team, so, you know, we get to do every single bit of the race together, which is great. On the women's side, Susana Rodriguez of Spain claimed her first world championship title since 2012. Dutchman Jetze Platt collected his third world title after a phenomenal race that he dominated from beginning to end. Yeah, it's going faster and faster, so it's, it's good. I'm, uh, I'm happy. Uh, third title, so uh, yeah, it's good. Australia's Emily Tapp delighted the crowd as she took the women's gold, her second consecutive world championship title. These were prime Emily conditions. The water was flat as a tack, <laughs> there was no headwind, and it was just about running it home hard. Um, there's some really fierce, great competitors, strong on all disciplines, so you've got to be on top of your game. Amazing runner. Canada's Stefan Daniel produced a brilliant run in the men's PTS5 class to earn the third world title of his career. It was an emotional victory for the Canadian, who has faced a tough season. I think this one is a bit more special than all the others. I've faced quite a bit this year and I haven't really raced well at all until now and uh, just a big relief more than anything. I didn't really expect it today. In the men's PTS4 race, it was a powerful display from Frenchman Alexis Honkicon that saw him take the tape well ahead of second place, Alejandro Palomero. Bah, c'est vrai qu'aujourd'hui, j'étais venu en Australie avec de grandes ambitions. J'avais l'étiquette de favori sur le, le front, et euh, du coup, bah, j'ai assuré. C'est vrai que j'ai fait une superbe course. Euh, la natation, le vélo et la course à pied se sont bien passés, donc euh, c'est parfait. Je suis vraiment heureux. Merci. The women's PTS5 saw Britain's Lauren Stedman cap a brilliant year. The new world champion going one better than her silver in Rotterdam 12 months ago and the win meant the world to her. I feel really emotional to be honest. Um, I've had a really hard couple of years since Rio. I felt as though I got a bit wrote off by everyone. Um, got my new coach Robin Brew and just achieved consistency and have nailed everything this year and I wouldn't really say I expected to win, I just knew I'd try my best and it was enough. USA's Mark Barr became the new PTS2 world champion, finishing 42 seconds ahead of world champion and gold medalist Andrew Lewis. I was looking over my shoulder the whole time, see where he's at, see where he's at. I know he's, uh, he's got some uh, tricks in his back pocket, so it was, it was awesome to come away with that, with that win, though. Elisa Seely crowned a near-flawless 2018 with the world title on the Gold Coast, the American holding off a stiff challenge from Britain's France Brown to go one better than her silver in Rotterdam last year. I came in with a fire underneath me to uh, bring home this title again, really to, you know, it's just a great stepping stone um, on the road to Tokyo, and uh, it, there's only up from here, so I'm really excited. On the women's PTS3 side, Anna Plotnikova was able to gain revenge on France's Elise Mark as she wrested the title of world champion from the woman who beat her a year ago in Rotterdam. On the men's side, Daniel Molina from Spain produced a striking race combination to defend his world title. And finally, Hannah Moore continued a great day for Great Britain as she became PTS4 world champion, a dominating performance in the swim setting her well on course for victory. Jules Ripstein 